Pacific Plus 2. That's Lisa coming to you from the sunny and hot Pacific Northwest. Hey, we're only going to be 20 degrees above normal temperatures today. No big. We did get a lot of rain. We're out of drought in my little corner of our state, but um, not so much for everybody else. Hi, welcome to my Floss Tube channel, CPT3. Um, thank you to the new subscribers. That was a really nice treat to see the little few more subscribers pop in there. Thank you for the views. Um, I've never broken triple digits on one of my videos before, so that was a shock. I'm surprised. It doesn't matter if you watched it. I think all that matters is that you started it. So thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Um, this is my channel, CP Geekery, where I mostly I geek out about my crafts. I, I have a lot of them. Right now, it's pretty much all cross-stitch all the time. Um, you can see, I, I still don't know how to point with this <laughs> camera. There. There! <laughs> There's my cosplay project for Rose City in September. So that's going to have to come to the floor pretty quick, and hopefully I can work on that. Um, mostly right now, like I said, right now it's all cross-stitch all the time. So anyway, thank you, welcome. You know, you know just, just for the record, I despise, I really despise what the Supreme Court has done to my country right now. I, I, I yeah, despise, I loathe, <laughs> loathe that decision. I loathe a few of the people that made it too. Just, But um, my asthma is so bad right now because of pollen and heat. I can't leave my house. Even with an N95 mask on, I can only go outside for about five minutes. So I can't go out and protest, but doing what I can, you know, get information out, write letters, call, um, talk to people, just, as a historian, I'd rather read about these times than live through them, but we don't have that choice. So do what you can and fight as best we can. Okay, cross stitch, happy thoughts. This is supposed to be my happy place. <laughs> I'm not sure there is such a thing right now, but that's okay. Also, I'm white. Yeah. I'm just not even gonna go there because my privilege has finally been impacted. I'll just say that. And yeah, no. Anyway, um, okay, back to the cross stitch. So hi, cross stitch. Um, I have an FFO. I have a little bit of progress on the project, and I have a little bit of haul, which I'm going to quit apologizing for because it's fun, and and some plans. And I think that's really about all I've got. I mostly just wanted to pop in and say hi. I'm still here. I haven't um, been in. I if you followed me for a while, you know that I was recently diagnosed with ADHD um, last few months after being. 30 years of being told I was bipolar, and so they've been changing up the, some of the psychotropics I take for that, and they put me on a different sleeping medication, because pro tip, if you take Benadryl to help you sleep, don't. It contributes to risk of dementia as you age. I did not know that. My doctor found out I was taking a Benadryl to help me sleep some nights, and they were like, no. So they gave me a different sleeping medication, and I don't like it. It just, it's, anyway, so I feel like I didn't realize it was the medication causing me to be just so blue and no energy and doing things. I just thought it was the world right now, you know, but evidently that's what it was because I forgot to take it one night and I felt so much better the next day. And then lo, lo and behold, I didn't take it another night. I felt so much better again. So I'm just hoping, I don't know, sleeping problems come up again. I'm going to have to talk to him about something else. Anyway, um, and I talk about this somewhat just to normalize mental health. I'm 58. I've been dealing with this stuff my whole life. And I, there's, I have various things. And I just get tired of hiding it and not being able to talk about it. So it's not to be a TMI or a woe is me. It's just to be, hey, I'm a normal person. I have a job. I have a home. I have a family. I have life. I have hobbies. I do these things. You know, I also deal with this chronic, illness, chronic mental illness stuff. So that's all that's for. Okay. Let's get on to the fun stuff. The cross stitch. How far in are we? Not quite five minutes. <laughs> not, not so bad. My first finish is Persian Love by Marumi. Either Marumi Crafts on Instagram or if you go to their Gumroad site to, to look at their patterns, it's uh, Marumi Designs. This is by Miriam. This is Persian Love. 
and it is the Farsi word for purge, purge for love, in Persian. The, 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 yes, I can, I can word. Anyway, this is Farsi for love, and I think if I'm saying it correctly, it's eshk. And um, I stitched this. This is my pride stitch because I'm not a good protest stitcher, and I'm not a fast stitcher, and I have difficulty switching from project to project to project. So um, these 20 stitches, I believe, did some wonderful pride projects and pride prompts and things, and I followed and I've read some of them, and I'm and I've ordered a couple of the books to read, but. I just, and I did buy the Move Forward in Love sampler, but I just, I have so many projects. I don't stitch fast enough, so I just chose to do what I could, and that was, I'm stitching diversity in love, I guess. <laughs> so, it's a really fun stitch. I, it, it's, it's quick and simple, and just so pretty. Like I said, I just don't really feel like the, the pictures do it justice. I'm looking forward to when I can get out of the house, getting it framed, because, of course, all of the frames I have on hand, none of them fit. So, um... I stitched it in on the, the fabric is from Mystic Fabrics, Hello Beautiful. It was a fabric of the month last year. Um, it's 32 count linen. I, that's what I tend to stitch on is, I tend to stitch on linen. I like it better than even weave or I eat a cloth. Okay, trying this again because I was starting to have some technical difficulties. Um, so I stitched this as an experiment in s using sulky threads. Um, it's sulky redwoods is what I used. I believe it's the number is 4202. And um, Miriam does most of their stitching in sulky and I, I just thought I'd try it. It was fun. I mean, it gave pretty decent coverage. It was definitely nice to not have to worry about railroading and are my stitching, stitches laying straight and whatnot. Um, if I'd started with just sulky, I might stick with it. But the other thing is that they don't have the variety of of threads and I have so much invested in my BMC right now I'm just not I doubt I'll switch to it completely but it was a really fun experiment um yeah I just I go buy it go stitch it it's it's really it was just really a sweet stitch and I'm looking forward to having it framed and sitting on my wall hanging hanging on my wall <laughs> so that was my finish um progress part of the issue with the the meds and then just like you know world in general is that um, I just lost, totally lost my stitching mojo. And then when I did stitch, I made mistakes. So at one point I got off in one corner on this and it's so simple and yet I managed to get off a, cor a, a stitch and so I had to rip out all of one corner and redo it one night. And then on my main stitch that I'm working on right now, my focus, I'm gonna call it my focus piece because that's the tech that seems to be the technical term. <laughs> um, I managed to get off a stitch there too and this, I couldn't figure out how to fix it, I couldn't think, and then once I got the med thing straightened out, I was a little more clear-headed and I was able to go back and say, okay, I think I can fix this, but all right, I'm digging for the pattern while I'm talking, so if this just sounds like filler talk, it's filler talk. So this is the other, my focus piece right now. It's the Fox Spirit of the Four Woods by Primitive Hair, and I'm going to make it on a stocking. I'm not going to be putting the Fox Vulpes in it. Um, I thought about maybe putting the person's name there, but all of our other stockings, the name is at the top, and I thought it might look a little weird to have someone's name on the heel. So I'm still not sure what I'm going to put down here. If anything, I might just get some buttons or, you know, something. Depends on how much time I feel like I have. If I have time, I may cross stitch like a little wreath or something in there. I don't know. So anyway, so that's that's what I'm working on right now, and this is my progress, and. Um, if I can, I'll find some point. I'll find and put a picture there of what it was before. But where I got off is I got off right up in here, one of these little white ones. And I and I did instead of like six or seven stitches, I did five or six, and then I didn't catch it until I got all the way down here. Actually, I was down here where this where this is. And when I started trying to fill in the black on the legs, it was like. Oh, this is off. And so I had to rip all of it, all of this out up to about here. And then I had to figure out, and I didn't want to rip, I did not want to rip all the way up to here. Did not want to fog that much. And so I figured out how to compensate because it's just one stitch and I can, I could actually move things over here, move this over a little bit to accommodate it. So I think it'll be fine in the long run, but it was disheartening. And with everything else, it was just like, I'm, I just put it all aside and I didn't have any of my other easier projects out. I'm out of sight, out of mind an ADHD thing I find out but I just and so I didn't have anything else out where I could see it and so I didn't think to work on anything else plus I was just uh, 
my island and Animal Crossing New Horizons, I have a Switch. I have a, a Switch and a PlayStation. My Animal Crossing Island looks fabulous. I have a hinge. I actually have a hinge. I have stone hinge. I have burial urns. I have the, the wooden hinge that goes around it. <laughs> and I made some progress on Zelda. So, you know, again, Breath of the Wild. So that's what I'm doing. I am not, on this one, I'm not going to do this border. I have picked up this... Um, primitive hair design and I want to use this border instead around the fox and so that is my plan um, I was supposed to have almost all of that cross stitch done by the first of July I'm not sure I'm gonna make it because I still have a haunch and a tail and and, and you know <laughs> I'm about a third done my plan this weekend was to get a lot of stitching done get caught up on floss tubes do a bunch of this and just wound up doing things yesterday and plus just dealing with the turmoil internal turmoil and you know talking to people and talking just life right life so um last month's been really busy we moved one of the spawn and you know just some other stuff just anyway I'm, okay moving on <laughs> Miriam is a new cross stitcher new designer um they have a new floss tube so go check it out it's really cute I'll link it down below that kind of leads me into Hall. Miriam has been doing a series of patterns based on Iranian folk image, folk, um, the Gabe, Gabe, I think I'm saying that, Gabe. Yeah, I, I listened to her video <laughs> twice yesterday. I was like, make sure I'm saying this right. And then my brain's like, what, what, what were you listening to? Even on Adderall. They're folk rugs and they're mythical creatures and she's, they're, um, she's doing a magical m menagerie um, series where she's doing a bunch of mythical creatures from these rugs that people just stitch up. They're everyday. They're meant to be used. They're, they're useful. Not The Western definition of art is it must be pure and only to be looked at, whereas a lot of other cultural cu cultures, art is just art. And if it's beautiful and functional, that's even better. So anyway, um, I bought their, they posted this one and I just was like, must have. It's called Perky Lion. And just look at that lion. Look at that face. Isn't it awesome? So yeah, I just I saw that and I was like, I must have. And honestly, when I first saw it, it reminded me of the, the Babylonian Lamassu, which are right now in the British Museum in London. That's where I saw them. And I just, I love them. I've always loved them. Every picture I've seen of them, I've loved them. And I thought, oh, that's kind of what that looks like. And then I said something about that to Miriam. They're like, She's like, well, yeah, but it's actually an ancient Iranian symbol, a lion and a sun that sometimes has a sword. And I was like, okay, cool. So I went and I looked it up and read more about it. And so it's, it's, it's really a, just a cool symbol and a lot of really neat history. It, you know, ain't a lot of, just a lot of cultural information. And um, so, yeah, I'm very excited about stitching that. I'm struggling with my, as usual, I have, you know, you buy the things, you have all the plans, and then the new things come up, and you're like, oh, but this, oh, but that, and it's like, how do I work these things into my original plans to go forward to get things stitched? So we'll see how that works out. But, um, but yeah, so that was one of the patterns. I guess I just kind of jumped into haul here. Sorry. This is not, <clears throat> this is a little discombobulated. The other pattern I got, oh, I used Pattern Keeper, so that Miriam's patterns are PDFs. And I usually print PDFs out, but I thought this time I tried Pattern Keeper. I actually really liked it. Um, I don't know that it's going to change my love for paper patterns, but I might wind up getting, ah, that wasn't what I wanted to do. So I'm trying to pull up my other pattern, one of the other patterns that I bought and show you. Um, but I have to remember to open the PDF and not the chart in Pattern Keeper. So I also bought... Um, Someone put out recently, a, a more well-known designer put out a Lucky Cat pattern. I said, oh, that's cute, and I bought it. And then I was like, I wonder if I can get, you know, sourcing, being responsible, et cetera. I was like, maybe I could find somebody who's actually from an Asian, you know, knows the culture that has put one of those patterns out. So I was like, all right. So I found this by Cross Stitch by Coconut on Etsy. Sorry, I'm trying to get this between the lights and the window. Lucky Cats. And they're really cute. You can buy little wooden forms to stitch them on if you want to. Um, I thought they were great and I will, they're going to be, you know, small, simple stitches at some point, but I like, and the only thing I don't like about the pattern is on the Etsy shop, uh, the designer had 
put notes about what the kanji that goes with each cat means and what it stands for, and I can't find it in the pattern. It may be there, I just haven't, maybe I haven't looked hard enough, I just haven't found it. So I made a note somewhere for it. I think I, when I printed out the pattern, I wrote it on there, so I will have it. But I just thought these were really sweet and cute, and I'm going to, I mean, I picked them up at Iwajimaya, uh, our local uh, Japanese uh, grocery store, and I, l I just think they're adorable, and I was really, really happy to see just a, a simple little cross stitch from for those. Um, I also, I you know, I picked up a couple of Mirabilia and Kitchy Whips on Instagram keep posting all these gorgeous Mirabilias that they're they're picking up, or you know, they're going through. I'm not sure, but and I keep looking like, oh, those are really cool. Those are really pretty. I might want to stitch those someday. And I have learned that if you like a pattern, you might want to go ahead and get it because if you come back 20 years later, like I did, it may not be available anymore. So, and especially I, a couple of the patterns I had asked her what they were and she told me and then I went and looked like, yeah, okay, those patterns are out of print and I don't want them that much. <laughs> I mean, you know, if, if um, no judgment because if you want them that much, that's great. I, I have spent money on things, way more money on things that you know, a lot of people would look at me and be like, what? You spent, what? No, that's fine. If that's what you do, do it. I, it's just not worth it to me at this point. So I, there was one left that I went looking for and I found out it was out of print and I was just like, oh no, how much am I gonna have to pay for it? I finally found it. I was like, I just, I just don't wanna pay that much for it. I'm not that, I mean, I love it, but surely it hasn't been out of print that long because I was looking at this pattern what, a year, two years ago, I think? New. So I did find it eventually. It was from a little cross-stitch shop um, uh, somewhere in the Midwest, just somebody who happened to have some of their inventory online, and they weren't marking it up or charging more for it because it was out of print. So I got this one. This is the um, Shimmering Mermaid. And I love the colors. I love all of it. I love the, the quilting, the, the purples and the greens. Those are my, my favorite colors. The tur You can only see the turquoise here, but the rest of my house, it's, it's this chartreuse green and teal and stuff. So I don't think I would stitch it on this fabric. I don't like the background fabric. I would put it on something I think that would make the green and purple pop a little more. Maybe a really light. Well, it's got a lot of neon green. Anyway, I'll decide when I eventually get around to stitching it, but I just thought this one was really pretty. So I picked that one up. And when I ordered it, I, you know, fabric, does, uh, nothing travels alone. I had, um, I went several years ago to, I had everything stacked neatly. And then I moved things around and they're not stacked neatly anymore. Several years ago, four years ago, I got to go to France and I got to tour. I spent, and Nithya, don't, Nithya, don't, don't, don't judge me <laughs> for my pronunciation. I never learned French, but, but I went, I spent a week about a week in the Dodon Valley in France, and we went to a lot of some of the other areas in the in the place. Um, before I went, I learned to say "s'il vous plaît" and "merci beaucoup" because I figured that's the least I could do. But I, I tried learning, and it just I don't think my brain does foreign languages. I just I tried so many, even classes, um, actual college classes were the hardest things I've ever done in my life. And I don't struggle with school, but foreign languages just like beating my head against the wall. The six weeks, I, or the six weeks, no, I did two six-week courses in Chinese, and that was actually easier than any of the um, Latin language, Latin alphabet languages I tried studying. Anyway, so I got to go, the, the point of the trip was to go look at the caves, prehistoric caves, and so I went to, I went to the Lascaux replica, which is, if you go to nothing else, go there. It's amazing. I went to Peshmeral, I went to Fort de Gaume, I went to, um, I, I just all of the caves it was so much fun and I had a blast and it was it just was a it, it was amazing I've done two overseas trips they've both been fabulous but it just that one was so much fun so I was looking for some cross stitch they didn't have any when I was there I was just like where there was none so when I got home I found Nitka patterns up in Russia it, I eventually found these and they do they have these patterns and I bought the kit that has all of them. Yay, there we go. Little, little tubby horse. And it's a great kit, but the the pattern came with, well, it's right here. It came with this 
fabric. Looks stone colored, right? Stone, gray stone. The uh, problem is this stone there isn't really gray. It's limestone and um, it's unique. There's not a lot of places with that. I don't know that there's a lot of places and it, it's kind of gray and if I can I'll put a picture one of these places from like the hotel. They don't let you take pictures of the art. They don't let you take pictures in the caves. But um, it's not that color of gray. And so I, I bought fabric and I, if you've listened to my floss tube over the time you've heard me talk about it, I bought fabric twice and three times now trying to get the right color. And I've got some beautiful fabric from uh, Mystic Fabric, beautiful fabric from Seraphim Fabrics. And every time it was like, okay, this will work, this will work. But way back when I first started looking for a different fabric, I hit upon Picture This Plus Ancient. And I was like, that's the fabric I want. But Picture This Plus is harder to find than hen's teeth right now. So I was on one, two, three stitch looking for, actually I was buying Sulky, the Sulky thread that I used for that. I was picking up some Sulky. And I thought, oh wait, they, they got some, I realized they got some Picture This Plus fabric and maybe, yes, they had Ancient. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy some and we'll see what it looks like and I'll compare it to the other two and oh my God, it is perfect. The other two don't even compare. Um, it's not as yellow. It's it's more red brown in, in the camera than what I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is it's much more yellow and it's just perfect. And it may not be the actual color, but it fits my mental image of the color. Problem is I only bought, uh, I guess this is a fat quarter, I forget. But anyway, it's, you know, 27 by 18, I think. And I was like, because I didn't want to buy a whole bunch until I knew because I keep not getting the right fabric. You know, I get it and I'm like, okay, that's close, but not quite. So I thought I'll buy a smaller piece. Okay, it's perfect. I go back to buy another piece and they're sold out again. <laughs> so I was like, oh, so I'm going to have to keep my own. I could probably squeak them out. I don't think they're very big patterns. And if I did it all in one piece, I could do them all on here, which may be what I wind up doing is just do them all in a row on it. Or something but um actually that would work I just thought of that that's a good idea uh -huh, maybe that's maybe my problem is solved I don't have to worry about it being out of print anymore so yeah so that <laughs> that was that adventure and let's see what else have I got here I did go out um I bought one other pattern well no actually I bought more than one other pattern I didn't realize I was pulling things together and, and I was like, oh yeah, that's right. I picked that up too. I forgot. So the other thing I bought was, um, this is a pattern by, that you can buy from Dr. Christie. And I don't know if you follow Dr. Christie. She does a, she does a floss tube. It's really fun. She does a lot of textile arts and she's a, she's a his, history professor and I really enjoy watching her. And so she designed the cross stitch. The, the original art is someone that she knows in her, and that she collaborated with. And the, uh, the artist made the picture and then Dr. Christie converted it to the cross stitch. But they live in one of the states that is, the, the, the minute Roe v. Wade went down, they, the one abortion clinic in the state was like, we can't do it anymore. And they had women who were coming in that day for their necessary reproductive care. And they had to t turn them away. And when I think about how terrifying that must be, you were that close to getting the necessary reproductive care that you, you know, that necessary, you know, nece that you had scheduled and minutes before you got there, they shut it down. Anyway, proceeds from this pattern through sales through the end of June, at least, I, I believe it's the end of June, are going to be donated to one of their local clinics or local groups that are going to be helping facilitate women who need help obtaining necessary medical care. So um, if you think about it, buy it. I'll put a link below and um, see if they, you know, get them some, some donation money it would be nice. Um, the last thing I did, I, um, my youngest spawn is getting ready to move out, plans to move out by the end of next month. And on the one hand, I'm looking forward to having some yeah, I don't mind having some time alone. The mornings are nice, et cetera. But on the other hand, I'm not real thrilled about it. the evenings get very empty. I'll probably be watching a lot more floss tube. I honestly had to cut down on the floss tube because you guys are so, it's all your fault. <laughs> you enable me. No, um, 
that's my fault but when I when I give in but anyway um so I'm trying to get out a little bit more and reestablish some of the social things I had going on prior to COVID still hard because people are coming down with COVID still and I do not want to get it I'm really paranoid about it but I did get out to the local CrossFit shop has a Tuesday night every other Tuesday night and a Saturday stitch. I haven't get, gotten to the Saturday stitch because either it was helping someone move or right now I can't go outside, so I can't go. And then the Tuesday night stitch I only managed to get to once, but I plan on going back. But again, my I just I can't go anywhere till grass season should be done in another couple of weeks and then I should be able to get out of the house. But I did get in there. In the evening we could just go in the shop, wander around, nobody was there, we could just look. And then um, I had at one point they have a sample and you can't see it real well on this so i picked up this winter animal they have this little winter robin stitched on a really pretty blue fabric and it was adorable and i wanted it and so then i saw oh look it comes in a kit eh, all right i'm going to take this out of the plastic you can't really ah come on and one thing i've discovered i like is little little birds i don't know why i look around and i've accumulated so many little bird patterns the other one I'm looking at getting right now is um, Cottage Garden Samplings has a have courage, and I'm like, I might need to stitch that one for all of us. But anyway, this is what it looks like, and this is by the Little Stitcher. I just thought those were really cute. Maybe some quick stitches, and then I also picked up. There's another one. There's a Winter Animals too, which I didn't get. I may have. I may get it as well. I can't remember why I put it back. But I was, I was trying to control myself, people. And then I picked up Winter Animals too which has, you know, the rabbit and the ermine and the orca and so on. And so I got that. And then while I was looking around, I found this fabric, which is a Lugana. So it's, it's an even weave, which I don't, I don't usually like, but it's not as, as, as even as most. And I picked this up and this is um, Vintage Stormy Night. So I'm not sure if it's just like a, we, a witch elt or Zweigart color, but I thought that was really pretty. And I thought that might be fun to, that would be good to stitch these on. They're stitched on polka dot fabric. I, I just don't know that I like that. But anyway, so I, I picked that up and um, eventually I'll get around to stitching them. I'm really, I find myself getting overwhelmed by the number of projects I want to do and have. And so it's like, I really, I'm really trying to slow down, believe it or not. This is me slowing down. <laughs> But it just gets overwhelming when I think, like, I have so many plans and I just want to get them done. And then it's like, but you have to take, it takes time to get them done, Lisa. So that's, that's kind of my plan for the next month. I'm not, you know, I'll try to check in. I, I need to finish the stocking stitch. I pulled out my little, um, where did I put it? Yeah, I don't know if I brought it in here. Oh, I did. I pulled, I remembered that I had this start. And so I pulled this out, because I can stitch this in hand, and um, that's about how far I've gotten on it. And I'm going to have that out so that I have something simple to stitch on when my brain starts and I can't handle the other thing. But um, that's pretty much what I'm hoping to do. And I need to get caught up on some floss tube. And also, I finally have watched Star Trek Strange New Worlds through enough that I can focus on my stitching rather than the actual show. And if you like Star Trek in any form, you have to watch this show. This is, I love, okay, I love Discovery. I love Star Trek Discovery. It's so good. The characters are fabulous. And it, the stories are so, so good. But it's, it's like watching a long movie. This is my friend and I were talking about this last night. And she says, it's like watching a long movie. And it really is. It's like watching a long movie. And so I'm just like, I can't, I can't, I can't do the heavy lift all the time. Strange New Worlds came along and I just, I love it. It's so, so good. It's so, it's just fun. And it's got that, it's much more, it's probably the closest we've gotten to the original series, which is what I watched when I was a little kid. I watched it in reruns with my mom as a small child and um, get, fell in love with it then. And then um, this is probably the closest we've gotten to it. So I just put that plug in. Also, if you haven't, Mrs. Marvel on Disney is a delight. It's so so good. It's it's just really really neat. I I'm just, I'm really enjoying watching it. Moon Knight was really fun too. Um, don't bother with Doctor Strange, the new Doctor Strange movie. Just we watched it, and it 
10 minutes in, I'm like, I don't like the stereotype, the, the tropes they're going for with the Scarlet Witch character. Just these are all negative feminine, negative female stereotypes. I don't like this. I'll give it a chance. And by the end of the movie, the young, the youngest Spawn, youngling, and I were watching it, and they would stop it and like rah, 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 ranting about it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then we'd go a few more minutes. I'm like, stop it, stop it. And then rah, 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 I would rant. So we were both yelling at the TV <laughs> the final 30 minutes of the movie. We were just like, rah. So anyway, um, you might like it, and you, your mileage varies, and that's fine. That's just my opinion. <laughs> my rather. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I can't word right now. I need more coffee. <laughs> so, um, that's really all I've got. Like I said, I mostly just want to pop in, say hi, thank everybody, the new subscribers, thanks for the viewers. Um, stay safe, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and um, stitch happy, I guess. And I'll see you. I don't know when it, it'll I'm gonna definitely aim for once a month that may be more realistic than every other week at this point so we'll see how that goes but I will be back and bye <laughs>